we've come to the time of the year, and particularly at this commencement concert, where it's a little bit bittersweet, where we have to say thank you and say goodbye to our seniors. So first, I'd like to introduce them individually. Uh, they're going to come up front here, and uh, I'll tell you where they're from and what their major is, and if I feel like it, maybe some fun fact, but I might skip those. So anyway, uh, there are 13 of them all together. I know that many of them have their individual fan clubs, their personal fan clubs here. But if you could wait until the end for your applause, that would be very appreciated. So I'm going to start with the two senior pipers. Christopher Perrin is from Wilmette, Illinois. And Christopher is a history major. Jack, you need to let him come first because I just introduced him. There we go. I have no control anymore. Um, Next, come on over and come all the way across the stage. Mr. Brooks has a little card and a gift, but don't open it yet because it's the same gift in every envelope and you'll give it away. You'll give away my secret. Next is Jack Whalen. Jack is from Denver, Colorado, and Jack is a biology major. He's been our pipe major for a couple or three years. Keep on going. There's 13 of you. Next is Bridget Gross. Bridget is from Vermilion, Ohio, and she has a specially designed major in environmental sciences and... Uh, social justice. Did I get that right? Did I get it right? Social activism. Okay, well, I came close. Okay. Uh, next is in the percussion section, Sam Bauman. Sam is now from Longmont, Colorado. He's been from some other places. His parents tried to lose him, but he found them. And so he's from Longmont, Colorado, and Sam is a religious studies major. In the trombone section, Tara Keller. Tara's from Cincinnati, Ohio. And she is a biology major, and she has blue hair, my favorite color. Also in the trombone section, Thomas Matlack. Thomas is from Worthington, Ohio, and Thomas went to Thomas Worthington High School. How cool is that? And uh, Thomas is a double major in mathematics and computer science. In the trumpet section, we have uh, Daria Oberholzer from Wyoming, Ohio, which is down in the Cincinnati area. Daria is a classical studies major. And we also have Aaron Sterling from Montclair, New Jersey. And Aaron is a psychology major. In the woodwind section, we have Grace Williams. Grace is from Shaker Heights, Ohio. Grace is a history major. In the flute section, we have four of them. So I'll just start with whatever comes to mind first. We'll start with Elise Walzer. Elise is from Columbus, Ohio, and is a double major in English and psychology and was a first-year seminar student of mine. So Elise and I have been together for a long time. I saw her her very first day here, and I'll see her her very last day here. Uh, also, Nicole West. Nicole is from New Philadelphia, Ohio, and she is a biochemistry molecular biology major, known as BCMB. Also in the flute section is Kelly Stoyer. Kelly's from Talmadge, Ohio, is an archaeology major. And last but not least is Bella, Arabella Goodrich. Uh, Bella is from, oh no, please don't let me forget, I'm the very last person. She is from some place that will come to me momentarily, and she's an archaeology major, right? Tell me where you're from. Oh yeah, Sunbury, Ohio, I knew that. That's down near Columbus. So before you applaud them, let me uh, say a few words about this group of young people. Uh, first of all, it's one of the quietest classes I've ever had. But that's not necessarily a bad, well, with a couple of notable exceptions, actually. <laughs> they know who they are. Um, they're very quiet, but they're very um, diligent, and they're very focused, and they're very into what they're doing, and they've just been uh, absolutely wonderful models for everybody else in the band. Um, not just models like of how they look. Uh, we had dress rehearsal yesterday, so the trombones all wore dresses. That's a, about a 30-year tradition. If you want pictures, I have them. Um, but they're really, really, really very good leaders, very good musicians, and most importantly, very wonderful people. I think that it is the best thing for me about teaching the, at the college level is to watch that growth from age 18 to 22, approximately. It's, it's absolutely spectacular in most cases, and um, it's, it's just fun to watch that. I also want to thank their parents, grandparents, family members who are here. This doesn't happen by accident. I've taught fifth grade band, and I know what they sounded like when they began, and I know 
that I have the easy part by the time they get here. So to all the parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and who have supported these young people throughout their musical careers, thank you. It doesn't happen by chance. They don't get to Worcester by chance and they don't get into this ensemble by chance. So you have played an important role. I would like for all the family members to stand. I'd like for all of these people to be acknowledged by us and by the audience for all the great work you've done. It's really difficult to say goodbye. I don't want them to open their envelopes yet because I hope I wrote some really nice things to them and I don't want them to read that right before the last piece. But they're all getting one of these. Uh, it's a miniature kilt um, from the bookstore. It's actually made, these are made by the band's seamstress, person who does our alterations and all of that kind of stuff. And it's just a very small token of my appreciation for all that you've done. And I hope you'll either put it on your Christmas tree if you're a person who celebrates Christmas or put it on your lamp in grad school or whatever you want to do, but I hope it brings back some wonderful memories of, the, of your time in the band. Thank you. We're going to finish our program with a fun piece called Toccata Fantastica. It's a, a, um, a barn burner, I guess you would say. It was written for the United States Army Band, Pershing Zone, uh, when one of their conductors retired. It's got a lot of dissonance in it, so don't think that they forgot how to play the right notes. It's written in a bitonality, which means it's in two different keys at the same time. And much of those times, those two keys are just a half a step apart. So that's on purpose. I hope you'll enjoy that, and then we'll bring our pipers back. We always end our tour concerts with Amazing Grace. We do not always end our home concerts with it, but we do always end our commencement concert with Amazing Grace. It's a great tradition that this band's been having for probably 50 years or more. So thank you so much. You've been a wonderfully receptive and warm and friendly audience. We appreciate that a lot. We look forward to watching these young people walk across the stage and get their diplomas tomorrow. And we look forward to having the rest of you back. You are not any less important than they are. We're just not saying goodbye to you yet. So thank you, everybody. I hope I get to meet all the parents tomorrow if I haven't already met you. Enjoy Toccata Fantastica and enjoy Amazing Grace and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you for being here.